Hey everyone, we are back. Episode 3 of the American Tries to Learn Euskera daily vlog. Today, I was supposed to have my Basque class, but it got postponed to later in the week, so I figured I already did my homework, that's done, I could review the lesson, but what was really cool is I only started this like very recently, um, but I've been getting so many messages already from some of you guys saying, you love the idea, you're trying to learn Basque too, you want to learn more. A lot of people are trying to learn Basque apparently and it's really cool. So I thought today I would show you something that's available for free online that I just discovered. Um, I follow on Instagram the Euskuararen Echea in Bilbao, which is the Museum of the Basque Language in Bilbao. Last time I was there in October last year, I visited, I took a tour, really cool people, really cool place, so we're Instagram friends. And I saw that during this time, they published on Instagram some, let's see, some crossword puzzles in Basque and also some word searches. So I went to their website to look for the PDFs to print off. I didn't find anything. Uh, so what I did on my desktop, I went to their Instagram account, which is at Euskuararen Echea uh, on Instagram. And then from my computer, I just screenshotted the word searches and the crossword puzzles and I printed them out that way. So it, eh, it's a little grainy, but like, we'll see what we can do. Um, so I feel like my level of Eshkwara is pretty much at a, a word search situation, um, but that might not make for very interesting viewing to watch me just sitting here filling out a word search. So I'm gonna attempt one of their crossword puzzles so you can see kind of my process, I guess, of how I try to decode. So the crossword puzzle I'm attempting that they uploaded, let's see, this one was uploaded 11 hours ago, so uh, that would have been on April 20th if you want to go on their feed and look for it, follow along. Maybe I can figure out how to put it on the screen. We'll see if I'm tech savvy enough, but um, there's only <laughs> four up. Uh, what do they call it? Four across and four down. So like in, in theory, it should be fairly simple, but the clues are all in Basque. So let's see how we do. The first one, Euskara es da sartzen europako i... <laughs> Sorry. Pronunciation's a struggle. Okay, Euskara es da sartzen euro... Eu, that sound. Europako Hiskunsa familia honetan. So what I'm getting from that is Eshkwara is not something. I'm guessing part of the Europe, this European family. Um, but all I'm going to do is input this in my handy dandy Google Translator, which I know is not 100% accurate, but like as a learner, it's, it's pretty good to give you an idea of what the general gist is. It says Basque does not include the European language in this family. Oh, so that's a really, really long one. So I'm guessing it's saying Indo-European because I know Eshkwara is not an Indo-European language. Um, but I don't really know how to say that in Euskara. Let me see if Indo-Europe fits. One, two, three, four. Okay, so I'm thinking it's Indo-European is the response, but I don't know how to say that in Euskara just yet. So let's see if maybe the next one will help out with that. And um, we are going... Oh, the numbers are really small in here, but I think we're doing the across section as the beginning. Eskeretik eskumara. Eskeretik eskumara. Yeah, from left to right. Yeah, so I guess that's across. Cool way of saying that, instead of saying across, from left to right. Okay, next one. Ansinako eskual eremuaren muga fisikoa all I got from that is physical, physical, physics, something along those lines. And Hegualdean, I know that Hegualde is the name for like the southern 
Basque provinces, so I'm guessing it means like in the south. Um, but yeah, um, let's see. It says south of the physical border of the old Basque area. What? What is what is south of the physical border of the old Basque area? What what's what's the old Basque area? Does that mean like Esqualeria versus Euskadi? <laughs> um, I think it, it's four letters. So. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. South of the physical border of the old Basque area. I'm gonna take a pass on that one. Wow, we started strong, but uh, okay. Next one, Eshkwarasko Lenengo Webguneak Sortu Sirenetik Pasadiren Urteak. Oh, Jesus, maybe this was ambitious for my third video. Um, Something about the web? Something about the Basque web? Webgun, webguneak? Uh, let's see if Google knows what webguneak means. Um, urteak. Uh, create, how many years since the first websites were created in Basque? That is an excellent question. Oof, if anyone from Eshkwaranen Echea is watching this video, like if you guys could put up an answer key like in a couple of days, um, that would be really helpful because that, I mean, first of all, I, I would like to learn the vocabulary for the answers in Eshkwara, but also um, this is just kind of interesting information. Like how many years has it been since the first websites were created in Basque? Um, I'm guessing like, what is it? It's 2020 now? Maybe like 20, 20 years? I feel like 25 years is a bit ambitious. 15 to 20? <sighs> okay, I'll make a note of that. Circle back, because I don't know. Next one. Eskwaras idatsi diren lehenengo esaldiak berten bertan agertu siren. I'm sure the native Basque speakers, if you're watching this and listening to me read this, like you can tell I don't understand the words as I read them because like I don't even know like where to put the emphasis like when reading a sentence. You know, like when you're speaking, like if you're asking a question or if you have a very long sentence, like your tone, like you just kind of, it flows you know how to make it flow. And um, with a language you don't understand, uh, you don't have that flow. So <laughs> I'm taking it word by word. Google says that means the first sentences written in Basque appeared there. Um, I believe the first book written in Basque was by Bernat Echepare, or Benyat Echepare in Iparalde, the northern Basque country. Um, but what was the name of that book? I feel like that's the answer. What was the name of that book? I think it was a Christian book or like a Bible or something. Okay, something to look up. Let me just look that up right now. Yeah, it wasn't like, no. Oh, lingue vasconum primitae. What? That's Latin. What? <laughs> so the first book written in Basque has a Latin title? Okay, I mean, uh, you, you, religious, I guess, Catholic had to be in Latin, but it was in Basque. Uh, it says it's a famous collection of poems. So let me see if any of that fits here. Um, lingue vascona. Mm -mm. Too many letters. Vascona. No. Okay, so maybe that was wrong. Moving on to the next one. So so far we are. Uh, we've gone through four. 
I haven't gotten any of them yet. Um, last one in the across section. Eskwara batuaren oinariak adostu siren santutegia. Okay, eskwara. The language, got that. Uh, bat, one. Oh, I'm still a little slash a lot lax with my uh, suffixes. Um, in Basque, suffixes basically tell you everything because what do they call it? It's an agglutinative language. I think that's what they call it. Um, basically, like you add on like, like suffixes or things at the end of a word to give the word meaning rather than adding like prepositions and stuff. And so I still have a lot of those to learn. So Google says that means the sanctuary was agreed on the foundations of the United Kingdom. Um, I'm, I'm gonna guess that's not what that's saying. Um, maybe the sanctuary was agreed on on the foundation of the Basque, like the one Basque language. <laughs> Okay, I'm, that one I'm not even going to pretend. Let's see if we have some better luck in the down section. So, so far we've got five clues and a cross. I did not understand all of them. And uh, the ones I did understand, I don't know if I know how to answer them. So, in the across section, the Eskeretik Eskumara from left to right section, we got nothing, nothing. So, let's see about down. Goitik behera, they say. Oh, does that mean from like up to to down or something? Yeah. Goiti, up, vera, down? Okay. <laughs> um, okay, first clue. Eskwararen era bilera handiko heriak isendatzeko erabiltzen den itza. Okay, the most exciting thing to me about that sentence is isendatzeko because we just learned about the suffix tseko or teko. It means like like to do something. Like the the question is sertarako, like what is it for? And then like if you say like what is a fork for? The answer is for eating. And so tseko would be added to yan, which is the verb for eat. So it would be yan, or is it yateko? Yanteko? Yanteko? Oof. I should not be attempting to give examples, but um, that's kind of the gist of that. So I kind of recognize what's going on there. Eskwararen, like of eskwara, um, erabilera, I don't know, handiko, heriak, something about a big, big land oh wow this is this was ambitious but um the whole point of this exercise of me doing this in front of a camera um is basically just to let you know that there's resources out there like this like if you go to Eskwara Nechea's Instagram account like if you are further along in your Eskwara study than I am like you can go on their Instagram and download these and maybe have some better success than I do um, so Google says that that means a word used to refer to high-use villages in Basque. Uh, high-use, I think that's, that's a bit of a strange translation. But basically the clue is the word we're looking for refers to... It's a Basque word that refers to high-use villages, like big, big villages, big towns. I don't think I know the word for big towns, big villages. Heri is land? No, Heri is city? No, Heri is town. So what's the word for city? You know what? Let me ask the dictionary. On the off chance, my Basque English dictionary, on the off chance that this is like it, I'm supposed to, it's supposed to be a city and I just don't know the word for city, which I feel like I should know the word for city by now, but yeah, city, hiri. I did know that word, um, but the, the, the boxes, like there's hella boxes. This is not a four letter answer. 
so uh, that's definitely not it. Next one on the agenda. We're moving on from that because totally failed that one. Number two down, Nafaroan Eromatar Garayan Bisi San Sen Tribuaren Isena. Nafaroan in Nafaroa. Um, oh, Garayan. Garay. Oh, I should, I should know the name for this. Ga, oh, I should know what Garay, Garayan means. But you know, you know when words just sound familiar? but they don't come to you. This is why I need daily practice because I have so many words in my head, but I haven't, the meanings haven't sunk in yet. BC Isan, like to be living. Um, Tribuaren, like in a, I I'm not even gonna guess that. Isana, name, okay. So something about a name, something about Nafaroa, something about living. This is, guys, this is literally like how I figure out Basque is word by word, just trying to guesstimate what it means. Put it all together, take a guess. So it says, the name of the tribe that lived in Navarre in Roman times. Gosh, you really need some historical knowledge here with this one. This, this crossword is for some smart people. Um, I would like to know the name of the tribe. I'm guessing it's some like, Latin derivation of Basque, Vasconium. Let's ask Google, the Vascones, they say. Does that fit? Are we gonna get our first answer right? Oh my God, thank you, thank you, Google. We finally, can you see that? We finally filled something out. After failing at six clues, finally got one with the help of Google, so that is a Done. Done. Yeah. Three more to go. Okay, 1980 as. I, my, my numbers don't go that high. Mil, is mil? Is that literally how you say a thousand in fast? I'm not even gonna try it. 1980 as. Gerostik bi urterik behin eskwararen alde egiten den ekimena. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Something about the 1980s, and ghetto means like then or later. So something from the 19 ghetto stick b urterik. So b urte is two years. So like something about the 1980s, and then two years later. B urterik behin. I don't know that word. Euskararen again. Alde egiten den ekimena. Never heard of ekimena. Since then, no, every two years since the 1980s. 1980s as gerostik bi urterik. So every two years since the 1980s, an initiative has been in favor of Basque. Is this Korika? Oh, did I get it? Did I get it? Did I get it? Did I get it? Dun 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 Korika! We got two! One, two, Korika, Korika, Korika! Oh my gosh. Wow, after so much failing, got two in a row! Um, wow, so cool. So, um, if you don't know what Korika is, it is an initiative that has been happening every two years since the 1980s that has been in favor of the Basque language. And it is pretty much a uh, like a relay race, I guess, that goes all throughout the Basque country, like different communities, different groups take turns passing a baton. Does it go on for a week? It goes on for many days, like day and night continuously, um, all throughout the Basque country. And they do it every two years. And it's like a big kind of publicity stunt. You know, it's all over the media, but also it's a huge fundraiser um, because people sponsor like sections of the Korika and the money raised goes to, um, funding these Basque language programs in the Basque country. So, haha, -ha, I have a little bit of cultural knowledge there that helped me out, so. Okay, next one. Ostirala lekeition. Lekeitio, I know, is a really beautiful town in the Basque country, in Biscaya. Ostirala is Friday, so, Friday in Lequetio. 
It's either something that happens on Friday in Lucatio that I'm not aware of, or it's like a really cool Biscayan dialect way of saying Friday. Ostirala. Those are my guesses. Either way, I don't have the knowledge to fill that in. I don't have the answer to that. So um, if it is something cool that happens in Lecetio on Fridays, let me know in the comments. Or if it is some cool Biscayno way of saying Friday, let me know. Um, so last clue. The tenth clue. Bordelen, ooh, another date, 1643. Urtean imprimatusen esqual prosaren gorengo emaitza. Something about something published? Imprimatu, something published in 1643? Uh, are we talking about Mr. Echepare again? Mr. Echepare and his book? Lingua Vasconum or whatever it was I just looked up? No, maybe Gorengo Emaitza. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, it's, it's not the high... <laughs> Google has strange results. It says the highest result of the Basque prose was printed in Bordeaux. Oh, is that Bordelin? Bordeaux in 1643. Uh, the highest result, I feel like that's... Either not an accurate translation, or maybe it just like doesn't translate directly to English. Number seven, it's not, it's not Echepare's book because that doesn't fit. So whatever the highest result of Basque prose was printed in Bordeaux in 1643. I don't, I don't know. Uh, if you, if you know the answers to all these, you've probably just been screaming <laughs> this whole video if you made it this far. Um, so I'm just going to give that one a miss. I don't know. So here we go. Day three of this vlog. And uh, there you go. You've seen my comprehension is, well, it needs some improvement. We got two out of ten in this beautiful crossword puzzle provided by the Esquadran Echea. They haven't sponsored me or anything. Um, I, I just wanted to share with you guys that this is a free resource they put on Instagram. So like, go check it out. Maybe you'd have better luck than I do. Um, and if your Basque is as terrible as mine, maybe we should stick to their word searches and maybe just learn some vocabulary that way. So I think, I think this is more where my abilities are at, but, um, this is a humbling experience and I really appreciate you being here, watching, joining, cheering me on. And I don't know, I just hope that maybe someone found this useful. Maybe make you feel better about how bad your Basque is because mine is terrible too. Or make you feel real superior because you're doing a lot better than I am in your Eshkwara studies. Either way, thank you so much for watching, posting new videos every day so check back in subscribe to the hello basque youtube channel and i will see you in the next one bye Agur.